and now our form is ready okay now we should submit this data okay whatever we input uh, to some location or some uh, route so access so before that let's define a uh, method method will be of course post okay so we will send this data to this url notebooks okay we are sending post request to notebooks so now uh, doing this is not enough we should define this route in our web.php okay so if you go to web.php here is our uh, this this url is uh, get request okay but uh, we are submitting uh, this with post request so we should define that route so let's copy and paste this duplicate this okay i made duplicate of this and change this to post request so the uh, these two url are different okay this will what this will do is this will just show the notebook this is going to index method and this is doing post request and this should go to another method which we'll be creating so you can give whatever name okay so standard uh, practices to give it store okay so restful practices uh, okay this is restful routes okay and uh, so now we are sending post request to this url okay and this url uh, we should do something in this stored method okay in notebooks con uh, notebooks controller so uh, which we haven't defined yet let's define that yeah let's go to notebooks controller here are our two methods already now create next one public function store okay now the main thing comes here okay so pay attention so let me revise this we created this create form this create form submits data to this url we define that url or route uh, to we should go to this store method and now we are going to write logic in controller here so now here is one thing so uh, you should pass or type in like this request uh, and request for now just do it okay i will explain it in a moment so we are uh, type inting this request instant what this will do okay uh, this is uh, defined in laravel's ioc container okay so uh, we catch all the form data uh, in this is instant so you can test that out uh, if you do request okay request all you should get the all data okay let's return that so what this request all is doing is uh, this is catching up all the request or input from this form field okay whatever you uh, input here laravel will uh, store that into request variable and we are showing all of the data in that variable so now let's test this in our browser okay so if we type any name here personal okay and we submit that with this done or uh, you can hit enter so you get this token mismatch exception okay so i uh, knowingly do that okay because uh, i will teach you something so what this is doing is this uh so laravel has a crs app token method to uh, protect you from any other form entry okay so what the csrf field is doing is this will send some token okay only this field this form should do something there okay means this form only should input the data okay that's why laravel protects uh, this is just way of laravel to protect you from cross-site forgery means any other site can't post the data in your database okay only this form can post the data so how we pass that csrf token so like this double curly braces csrf underscore f i e l d so if you do that that should pass the csrf token with it okay so now let's test this okay go to browser and go to your create form slash notebooks slash create okay here is our form and if you pass that personal or any name with this form you should get another error so 
uh, I'm just teaching you how to see error and debug them okay so it is saying class this is not found app controllers request does not exist okay so uh, we should define that uh, request class okay so it is uh, searching for inside this class so so I'm making a video on namespace okay uh, and that will make uh, this namespacing thing a little bit clear so for now just uh, see me what I'm doing okay so what uh, this generally means is we are defining this request class here but we are not specifying where this is inside Laravel okay so it is uh, try to find this inside this app as it be controllable where this class is not actually okay so we should define that request class okay now let's define that request class okay now th that's where you can take help from documentation okay if you go to uh, Laravel uh, and you just type here request okay request this HTTP request click there okay so here in this page okay it tells you how you can access request and here it is so use this HTTP request okay if you specify this uh, you should uh, access this request class okay which is responsible for uh, getting all your input okay so you can copy from here or just you can type okay uh, this class is inside illuminate HTTP and request okay so I will just copy that out so later I will tell you how to just um, type this um, shortcut and some tricks okay uh, how I use it faster okay so inside illuminate HTTP and request this is uh, Laravel's uh, folder structure or where it stores its classes okay so now if you go to browser so make sure you save that okay if you go to browser and now you, if you reload okay you should get that name class okay that that's what we are reflecting also you will see that CSRF token which we have passed in our create form here okay so let me close all tab to the right okay so we are getting this field and we are also getting what name we have submitted in our input field okay hope you are getting this okay so now also let's uh, go back to create form let's pass this another name this time blah yeah you should get that and token with that okay so only the form with this token can edit this form okay that's how this protect us so now our request is going now we have to do something with that request okay in our store method in notebooks controller class so now let's do something with this data okay so let's do data input I'll give name data input to all the data okay so we assigned all the data from form to this variable next uh, we will store this data to our uh, notebook database sorry table so how do we do that so we do that first of all uh, we access that class okay how we access that class we have to uh, we access that through model as you already know okay so double colon okay create so create what create just create whatever I passed in the form okay like so so now what this will do is this will just store the name of uh, the notebook which we passed in our form create form to database okay so now let's return something to check first okay uh, now let's check this okay go to our database and go to our create form and okay so just refresh okay if you get something like that that might be bug okay now let's store new name so let's enter okay mass assignment exception so you have to get familiar with this exception so what this is doing is you cannot uh, assign all of data like this okay you have to define 
what you are going to store in your notebook model so open that up notebook so what I did was I control P and type the name of notebook also you can go from here app notebook so here you have to define which field in database are fillable okay so protected an array so remember in object oriented PHP this is how we define variable uh, protected means no other class can access okay so fillable which field are fillable name field we can easily f we can fill that okay so um, you can see this is the protection okay uh, so some other hacker might input the different data in our database uh, okay without our knowledge but here we are defining only this field can be uh, fillable now let's go to browser and reload you should see the success message like this okay now let's check our database go to notebook app and notebooks table data so here is awesome notebook so I reloaded that twice that's why I got two data okay so awesome notebook so we are storing data to our database you can check okay by going to notebooks here awesome notebook okay so now you are storing data to database that's how we store data you can store another one create uh, Dan Daniel success so we might not do th this type of thing in our real lab I will tell you what to do okay we are just checking this for now okay so yeah damn Daniel so now here we just do return success but in real app what we will do is we will re uh, redirect to some uh, location maybe you want to redirect it to some URL you can redirect like this URL where you want to redirect slash notebooks okay so let's go here once again slash create mm, again okay this class uh, this function will return just this URL okay so instead we have to do here is uh, redirect okay redirect and we should get our redirection to yeah again again this you get twice you can taste again okay create brand new okay here is brand new okay so this is how the uh, we redirect uh, to some URL okay so we catch up all our data in this variable we pass this variable here okay we created new database with help of our notebook model okay here we defined your fillable field name so this is how we store data in our database so next we'll go about how we can edit the form okay edit the data for example if we want to change their name how we can go about them okay so that's coming up next